Yeah, this one's not bad shape either. Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sales Show. Folks, thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't watch TV, giving it to you straight. Folks, you know all those people? Those people that say beauty is on the inside? Those people have never seen the footage of the inside of this particular house that I have for you guys. 427 West Ave, Valerie, Ohio. But with that said, when I show you this footage here momentarily, you are not going to be blown away with how nice it is. You are not going to be blown away with how elegant it is. You are not going to be blown away uh, with how well the tenants have maintained the inside of their units. But with all that said, I still think it's a good investment, and I still think you should buy it because, as you see here, I've got this sucker priced at only $114,900, and it is a fully occupied fourplex apartment building, y'all. Now, for any of you who have watched Holton Wise TV for any length of time, you should know that I consider the four-unit apartment building to be the best investment of all time. I consider the four-unit apartment building to be better than a single, than a duplex, than a triplex. I also consider it to be better than a five, a six, a seven, an eight, a nine, a 10, 11, and a 12-unit building. Why? Because of the financing. Four-unit apartment buildings. That's the biggest apartment building you can buy with traditional residential financing. You cannot buy a four-unit apartment, or a five-unit apartment building, rather. A five-unit, a six-unit, a seven, an eight, a nine, a 10, 11, and a 12 with traditional residential financing, which comes with 25% down, 30-year loans. Now, I'm aware... I'm aware that right now, as I talk to you guys, October 2022, uh, financing, mortgage rates, it's a touchy subject, right? Uh, you know, what we've dealt with right now over the last six months, seeing the rates go from like 3% to 7%, uh, that's pretty scary. That's pretty rough. But the cool thing is I follow all of the Fannie Mae housing uh, forecasts, and I've actually done videos on the last two Fannie Mae housing forecasts. I'm going to go ahead and pop those in the notes below. I've also uh, created video content for you guys to teach you guys how to combat higher interest rates, how to work around higher interest rates and still make money. I'll throw that in the notes below this video. So after this video, you'll probably want to check all those out. But the cool thing is, if you watch that content and you pay attention to what's going on, I believe, and a lot of other people believe as well, including Fannie, that uh, the interest rates right now are just temporarily going to be this high. They should be dropping next year, right? You guys all know what's going on. The Fed has to uh, manipulate markets in an indirect way to try to stop all of the nasty inflation we're dealing with. Let's go, Brandon. What's up? So because of all that, it should be going down okay so it's creating this very nice uh buyer's market for investors who could come in and pay cash and possibly pull money out later but irregardless uh of doing that you should know that 30-year financing is still the best game in town even if the interest rate ain't three percent even if it ain't four percent guys you can't get these types of loans on five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve unit apartment buildings you can't do it. So the fourplex is still the most rent you could ever get with one of these sweet 30-year loans. Speaking of these sweet 30-year loans, folks, I got to tell you about my girl Harjeet. Harjeet is from Win Trust Mortgage, and Win Trust Mortgage just so happens to be the sponsor of today's show, folks. What they can do for you is give you one of those cool 30-year loans on this apartment building. They can also give you a cool 30-year loan on any other building you're looking about buying, uh, looking at buying, rather, in the United States of America, all 50 states, so long as it's one to four residential units, right? That's why, again, I like the fourplex versus the five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, y'all. If you're interested in getting a pre approval letter or discussing the market, discussing interest rates, talking with 
a trained mortgage professional, somebody who can really give you guys some insight into where the market's going, is paying attention to the rates. Uh, we'll cut it to you straight. You guys definitely want to hit up Harjeet, right? If you want to buy this property, I'll need a pre-approval letter so Harjeet can provide that to you. But again, She's licensed in all 50 states, folks. Her and Wintrust, they could take care of you uh, here in Cleveland. They could take care of you in Florida, California, wherever, man. You could live in Sacramento and be buying a property in Idaho. She'll hook it up for you, right? So I recommend you guys check that out if you're trying to finance this asset or get more information on mortgage rates, right? Because that is a super hot topic, okay? But if we go back for a moment, to just this property specifically, right? We should talk about it. We should talk about how freaking ugly it is and what's going on, right? What we have here, folks, this is how we need to make money in this particular property. What we got is a landlord who picked this up from a mom and pop who had this for many, many years, and they had these super long, uh, long-term tenants in there, right? If you take a look at the chart, the rents are low, four and a quarter, three and a quarter, four and a quarter, three and a quarter, 1,500 bucks a month, right? Market rent's much higher, okay? Market rents, as you see, can be as high as $2,450, right? We're leaving $950, almost $1,000 a month on the table by having these units be rented this low. But here's what you have to understand. You can't, I mean, you can. We can, if you want, uh, go in, because a lot of these people are on month to month. We can't go in and notice them and just say, hey, yo, you got to pay market rent right now. We could do that. I don't think that's the best strategy, and I'm not some bleeding heart who's like, oh, my God. How could you increase their rent? What if they can't afford it? They don't have anywhere to go. That definitely ain't me. And if you don't know that, you better subscribe to Holton Wise TV right now to check it out, folks, because I'm all about the bottom line, your bottom line. But I still wouldn't do that because it's bad business, okay? If you go in and you jack those rents up, you're probably going to create a bunch of turnovers. And you guys have been watching the footage as I've been talking. It don't look so hot in there, right? There ain't no scenario uh, where we can have one of these folks move out and then just get a new market rate tenant in there without doing some work to each of these units, right? Each of these units, some are smaller, right? You got a couple studios, a couple one bedrooms. Each of these units is going to need probably at least 10 grand, maybe as much as 15 to 20 uh, to get a brand new tenant in there. Section 8 tenant would be great. Cash bank tenant's okay too, right? O'Leary is a pretty nice little C-grade area. I like it. I like the fact that we have stable tenants over there so we can go both routes. Uh, but to get a new tenant at market rate, we're going to have to fix these up, right? We can't just have it looking all scuzzy and gross like it currently does, right? So the smart landlord, the smart money is on increasing their rents slowly, trying to get them up slowly to market rates so you could do so without creating turnovers that you'll then have to pay for, right? Because, I mean, I've priced this in such a way that it makes sense, even at the current super low rents, uh, you're going to cash flow. I priced it at 115 k and it's bringing in 1500 Rent currently with that 950 left on the table. I mean, I would honestly treat this as some type of like a long-term burr type investment because I'll tell you what, if I was getting market rents and we had four renovated units in there, folks, I would not be selling this for 115000 Okay, no, I'd be selling this for probably, I don't know, 175, 180, 185, 190, possibly 200000 depending on when we put it on the market, right? 200000 today might be slightly tough, right? Because we're definitely seeing that buyer's market dip coming, okay? You guys got to pay attention to the market, dude. It goes like this, okay? But, if things go how I'm anticipating they're going to go and how Fanny uh, thinks they're going to go as well, I would say getting close to that $200,000 valuation uh, next year when the rates are projected to be lower and it's projected to not be such a buyer's market would probably be pretty feasible because if I haven't mentioned this yet, can I mention it again, folks? James Wise's favorite type of investment property for myself and for investors like you is the four-unit apartment building. And you ain't going to find a cheaper four-unit apartment building than this one right here, folks. So if my cash buyers are out there, you guys want to make an offer, that's great. Send that offer to my team, sales at holtonwise.com. Include your proof of funds. That is a screenshot of the balance in your bank account. That is not a hard money loan pre-approval. That is not your cousin Johnny's roommate's brother's uncle's bank account. No, it is your bank account. If 
you would like to finance this asset with that cool 30-year financing, that's great. I need your offer along with that pre-approval letter. It could be from any lender of your choice, or it could be from my girl Harjeet at Wintrust Mortgage. The choice is yours. We are totally open to anything and everything here, folks. So let me know what you guys want to do. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.